Hey guys, this is your host Diamond and today it's with you at Sports Kida. We are talking about a very important match between Uruguay and Portugal. Well, this is going to be a very interesting match as we have a fan of Uruguay and Portugal sitting right here with us and let's see what they have to say about the same. Why do you think Portugal is better than Uruguay? Uh, dude, Portugal have uh, Ronaldo so obviously they are better than any damn team. He's the GOAT, the goat. greatest of all time. That's, that's a little debatable when it comes to Messi though but yeah. What, what but Uruguay have a better team. We have a better defence, we have a better midfield and we have two of the best strikers in the world. Why do you think uh, your strikers are better than his? He has one of them, we have two of them. We have Edinson Cavani and we have Luis Suarez. Uh -huh. We are fighters. And uh, what do you have to say? Dude, he just said uh, Uruguay have a better team than Portugal but Portugal are the defending Euro champions. You don't just win a tournament as big as Euro by having just one good player. So, yeah, obviously we have a team as well. You guys have a team, but you don't, you, you don't have the bottle to fight against Uruguay, by. You cannot do it. You don't have the cojones to do that. Uh, dude, uh, so I'll tell you, we have uh, a player who's potentially going to win the Ballon d'Or again. We have a player in Bernardo Silva who's just won the league. Who's just won the league. We have a player in Bernardo Silva who's just lifted the title with City. We have a defensive midfield rock in William Carvalho. We have... Uh, two very experienced defenders in Jose Font and uh, Pepe and then we have two really good fullbacks. What defence? What do you have to say about that? They are very experienced defenders and very old defenders. <laughs> they run like rocks. Basically they don't run. They are like experts in just standing still. Suarez will rin run rings around them. Rings around them. And it's not like we don't have a defence. We have Diego Godin. So I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, uh, yeah, obviously our defenders are old, but uh, because of how the system works, it's not like you're going to have a run at them all day long. In fact, you saw, in fact, you saw how... In Uruguay, we'll try scrape through a 1-0. We'll get a set-piece, Godin will score a header, enough. Uh, how, dude, you've seen how tall Pepe and Font are. And obviously we have the threat of Ronaldo and Adrian Silva up top as well. It's, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. I'm telling you, Godin Jimenez, they feed of aerial balls at Atletico. Do you think the Ronaldo factor is going to play a huge role in the team? Uh, Godin Jimenez, the centre-backs for Atletico, they're not going to be scared of Ronaldo, they're not scared of Messi, they're not scared of anybody. So I don't think Ronaldo will be a factor at all. You neutralise Ronaldo, Quaresma will try one of those outside of the boot flicks that he keeps trying, isn't it? You just can't say Quaresma is going to try one of those. How can you just call a tri no? He's, he just called he just called a tri Trivala a trivial. You don't do that. This is getting very interesting, guys. So let's go on. Let's go on with the midfield of both your teams. Why do you think you have a better midfield? Uh, so we have a good combination of uh, you know technique and the brute physicality. So William Carvalho is obviously someone uh, who can break play well. Uh, we have <laughs> that as well. Uh, we have Juan Martino whose distribution is really good uh, and then obviously we have uh, uh, Juan Mario who's you know played in the very enterprising Premier League and you know he knows his stuff he's a pretty versatile player I see I, I, I see West Ham United he can barely get a game for West Ham United enterprising Premier League it's we have, we have a much better midfield we have Nahita Nendes on the right screaming fast pacey young winger we have Rodrigo Benton Kour in the middle we have Matthias Benchino in the middle both both stalwarts in the Serie A. Serie, Serie A, they know their football. They know their proper football. There's nothing else. He just said their names. There is names and their stalwarts. That's it. Let's go on with the prediction with both the fans right over here. So, going on with the Portugal fan, what are you predicting? What's the victory going to be for you? Uh, I think we're going to beat Uruguay 3 1. 0 0 full time, 0 0 extra time. Penalties, Ronaldo misses. This is going to be interesting because Ronaldo's already missed one penalty and uh, he's quite confident that he's going to miss another one. But let's hope uh, that Portugal does well. It was lovely talking to you. Thanks for joining in. Thank you so much for joining in. What a lovely fan debate we had over here in the Fan Wars segment of Sports Kida. Like, share, and subscribe for more updates.